I think it's very important to have a, an organisation-wide data strategy. Um, you've got to have everybody in the organisation signed up to the same vision. Um, in delivering a data strategy, um, often it's, required, it's necessary to have sort of an immediate data strategy, how to fix things fast, how to, how to put the immediate burning platforms under control. Um, and then to have a more target data strategy. So you'd have sort of a tactical approach that should fit in with this more strategic approach because a more strategic approach, the target data strategy is going to take longer to implement. Um, it's going to be harder. It's going to require technology. It's going to require um, input from IT without a doubt because you may well be changing you know, data storage or where you collect and manage data and then how you actually will impact the operations of a business. So um, certainly we, I see it as, as, as a two-tier, a two bimodal approach really, an immediate thing, there are things we can fix now and there's things that are going to take longer to do, but very important to have something that covers the whole organisation. A data strategy has to tie absolutely right into the business strategy, there's no point in doing clever things, you know, flashy bells and whistles, data science with data, if it will not impact on the business outcomes. Um, so when we construct a data strategy it has to be perfectly aligned to the business outcomes and the business strategy, and that business strategy might be uh, increased uh, customer acquisition, it might be reduction of churn in customers, it might be uh, increasing operational efficiency, it might be cost reduction, whatever it is, the data strategy has got to deliver into that business strategy. The two have to be absolutely aligned. If there's any misalignment, uh, that's difficult. Um, Organisations which are perhaps not for profit um, or government departments might, it's harder because you're often working on KPIs rather than bottom line or customer acquisition, but there will always be a business strategy if you can tie into. And every data activity should add business value. Getting the line of sight on data, and the biggest challenge around that is often when you start to deliver a data strategy is there's nothing there previously. So you've got a huge amount of work to get over before you can even get to sort of where you want to be. And that, that big piece of work around uh, getting the line of sight is the thing we call data lineage. Is understanding how data is moving from the point of collection across the various applications, databases, software systems in the business, and then is used where it might be popping out into spreadsheets or into reports or whatever around that flow. So data lineage, you'd start at, at the base level with what's called a physical model. In other words, how data is moving between individual database fields in databases and applications. You'd have a logical model, which say these are the business processes that are used. And you'd have a conceptual model, which is a very, very high level. Understanding that kind of lineage is absolutely crucial. Democratizing data is, is hard to achieve. Um, it's where a lot of organisations start from, lots of people dealing with spreadsheets or small databases out in business. That isn't really democratising data. What we want to do with the data strategy is centralise the data management so we get a single version of the truth, um, so we get governed data, and then democratising access to those data sources. Um, so rather than getting lots of silos of data, people are working from the same data source. Um, and using self-service reporting tools or self-service analytics tools allows the people who are the subject matter experts in the business to actually use the data as they see fit. That's true democratisation of data. The role of a chief data officer and data team is to make other people look good. I think it's a very good thing for, for each department, each part of the business to be able to self-serve on, on data rather than relying on other specialist functions within organisations such as the finance department because um, it enables them to, to build their own business cases, enables them to do their own analytics and forecasting and bring together a proper business case to bring to finance for a proper meaningful discussion. Um, and, and they can model and look at returns on an activity they want to do or cost savings they want to make because they've put it together with their data. But it's governed data. Creating the case for change around data is, is becoming increasingly easy. Um, there's obviously, um, if you can create a business value case, then most CEOs or CFOs will buy into that. If you can show um, return on investment or return on the activity, um, either in cost reduction or increased revenue, you've got a case for change. I think regulation around data um, has created the case for change. So you know, there's a number of banking regulations that have recently um, been rolled out or are in the process of being rolled out. That has made a case for change in the financial services, for sure, um, open banking and, and that kind of thing. Also GDPR has helped that case for change um, and created a, a more 
concerned environment about data governance and data quality. So any organisation um, that is dealing with regulatory data, the case for changes is getting easier to make. I think cultural change in an organisation is a big challenge. It's one of the, the biggest challenges. Um, if people ask me what my biggest challenges are in the next, next 12 months, it will be cultural change. It will be getting the whole organisation to understand the value of data, the importance of doing the right piece of data entry right at the front end in customer service, for example, or somebody's out in the field on a dark, rainy night writing the right figure into a spreadsheet or into an, an application on a phone. It's absolutely crucial. It have massive business impact that they will never see or understand at the far end of the business. So creating that culture of valuing data as a resource, as an asset, is absolutely crucial. Great data governance looks like each business unit owning its data and taking responsibility for its data and measuring the quality of its data. And there are metrics that a centralised data team can, can help business units with to measure the quality and standards of their data. Creating a detailed information asset register, that's what good data governance looks like.